Okay, so I saw this on Twitter from Play That Pop. They said, who is the best artist of the new generation? So off top, we're taking out Lil Nas X and Madison Beer because, I mean, let's be serious for a moment. So that leaves us with the remaining four, and you can make arguments for any of these. You know, Doja Cat has had, you know, some great pop rock songs with songs like Say So, Kiss Me More with SZA. She had Paint the Town Red. However, the controversy outside of the music, you know, is worrisome. So we'll see about her longevity. I don't know. Olivia Rodrigo, I actually quite enjoy her a lot. You know, it was my sister that put me onto her with Driver's License, which, you know, I think it's a good song, but, you know, Vampire kind of better, in my opinion, and I'm sure it's controversial or whatever, but I still stand down on that. So it is what it is. And I also really like her new album, Guts. I think her problem is the live performances. I think that they have to get better. I think that they've slightly improved, but the live singing is not where the live singing needs to be. And I think that she gets away with it a lot of times, but I think that, you know, she has to improve in terms of that. I could appreciate more so of her creative concepts in terms of that and what she's trying to do with it, but the vocals aren't vocally. And so she has to improve in terms of that. I think as a songwriter, you know, she's pretty good. I think that as a singer, she's good enough to, you know, carry her own songs. I like production on her albums. So I think that, She's going in a good place with a career. Also, one thing that's really important is that she knows when to be quiet. She knows when to, you know, be out in the public and stuff like that, talk about her music or whatever. Like, she's really smart in terms of that, and I think that will definitely help her with her longevity. So, you know, I really have been enjoying Olivia Rodrigo and, you know, hit after hit after hit. I can't deny what she's done with her albums. And, yeah, Dua Lipa. I really like Dua Lipa. You know, I liked her first album quite a lot. Homesick is actually one of my favorite songs by her that I feel like nobody ever really talks about. Future Nostalgia, you know, a pop bible for a lot of people. For me, no. Um, I do think the album is overhyped, but, you know, you can't deny the hits that she was able to produce with that album with songs like Levitating, which, like I said, didn't need a remix, by the way. You also have Love Again, which I really love. Don't Start Now, which was a smash hit as well. Hallucinated is a great song. So, yeah, I mean, her success with what she's been able to do with that. She just had the Barbie song, which actually was something that grew on me. And the new Houdini song is trash. As I said, like, the music video is giving Madonna hung up rejects. The budget was not budgeting. So I hope that the new album is good. You know, I have faith in her. But, you know, what she's given me, you know, I'm happy with it. She's a competent pop star. I think her performances have got a lot better after she got dragged with the go go give us nothing so she can actually perform now. And, you know, I feel like she's one of the new girls who, you know, is good at that. So I'll give her tens there. I like her music for what it's worth. I think she's a good singer and songwriter. You know, good performer. Billie Eilish. Billie Eilish has really made a splash on the scene ever since she came out, you know, and, you know, the EP that she did is pretty good, and then she had her first album, When We All Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go? She got all the Grammys for it and everything, and people have just been intrigued by her, I think just because she was so different than everything else that was out at the time, she wasn't afraid to play you know, with different things, with her vocals and the production and, like, all those things. And, you know, shout out to Phineas, you know, it's a good collaboration, you know, with them two working together. Her second album didn't perform as well as the first one. I think the second album was good. I actually liked it better than the first one, but for me, her EP is her best work. You know, I think that she's an alright performer. I mean, everyone's going to be different. You know, I think she can sing. I think with the vocals, I would like to see her belt more because she just does, like, the kind of whisper singer songs. It kind of gets old. But, you know, I think she's a great singer. I think that she can write, you know, most importantly. And, yeah, she kind of makes a splash every once in a while, you know, in pop culture and everything. It is what it is. But, you know, I can enjoy her. I feel like sometimes people give her a little bit too much, um, to be honest with you. But, you know, I do like her for what it's worth. I understand why people enjoy her. I think her music can be quite relatable. Now, if I have to pick who is the best artist of this new generation, and this is just my opinion, feel free to disagree with me, I'm going to give it to Olivia Rodrigo. I feel like out of all the music here, I feel like I've enjoyed her the most. I feel like I listen to it the most. And yeah, I feel like she's shaping herself to have some nice longevity. So we'll just have to see what happens with her career and everything. I could see you giving it to Doja, you know, for what I said about the pop rap and what she's been able to do with that. You know, I think she is talented and performers out of all these, I think that she's the best performer. I got to talk about that earlier. But but, you know, what she was able to do with Say So, having to perform it 50 times and constantly finding a new way to perform it, you know, that's admirable. So I have to give her a tens there. The stuff outside the music is a problem, like I already discussed. But, you know, I could see you giving it to a Doja Cat. I could see you giving it to a Dua Lipa with everything that I discussed, with the fact that it seems like she has a good with, like, the hits and the performances, and I think that she can sing. So we'll see who is going to have the most longevity, you know, out of everyone here and just see how everything goes. But and like I said, Billy, I could understand that. 
So let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. I'm sure people are bound to disagree with me. But yeah, let's continue that discussion.